A new crime bill is under review in the D.C. Council. This time, the Secure D.C. Omnibus Amendment Act combines most of the crime-fighting measures proposed in the past several months. The head of the Judiciary and Public Safety Committee calls it one bill that covers it all. So what does that mean for you and your safety? Delia Gonsalves is outside the Wilson Building with a look at some of the most controversial measures. Councilmember Brooke Pinto says the legislation is in response to some of the feedback she received from her community crime meetings and safety walks. Now the bill would make permanent some of the measures that we saw in the emergency crime bills over the summer, like stiffer gun penalties and pretrial detention. I have read through all 89 pages of this bill, and here are some takeaways for you. First, drug-free zones. That would allow police to make arrests for any activity in areas that they deem drug-free zones for five days. Second, blue light surveillance cameras. Think emergency call boxes on college campuses. It's a two-year pilot program that would place these call boxes near train stations, bus stops. Once a person presses the emergency button, video is recorded and audio too, and police will be on the way. Third, DNA evidence collection. Now this would allow police to collect a swab of someone's DNA if they're arrested for a felony. We're told if the charge is dropped, the DNA is then destroyed. And finally, an anti-mask law meant to give police power to initiate a stop not make an arrest. So the council member gave us this example. If police see people in a car wearing ski masks in the middle of the summer, well, police are then allowed to pull that car over. There is much more to this bill. I'll have a complete breakdown and reaction from both sides coming up at six. Outside the Wilson building, Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9.